a chart here. Um, actually, a couple of charts that I want to show. This is about uh, what are what are called antipsychotics or uh, neuroleptics <clears throat> for treatment of uh, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder. They're used in borderline personality disorder. This is their rank in weight gain. Okay, so this is how many pounds are gained per medication at three months of treatment. So you could see uh, placebo is negative two, uh, lorazidone is negative two, that's interesting. Um, then we go ziprazidone, point two, uh, lufenazine, which is one I've actually never studied, point nine, acenapine, uh, rather palipiridone, one point three, uh, aripiprazole, one point five, acenapine, two point two, uh, Luxapine, 1.6, you know what that other thing is there, and then we just we jump up from uh, from this one here <clears throat> to Haldol. We go from 1.6 to 2.4 pounds, and then you can see the newer antipsychotics mostly are where uh, you know where we see more of the weight gain. Polypharmacy, more than one medication. 4.4, risperidone 4.6, quetiapine 5.0, etc., etc. You could you can read the chart for yourself. It's not the most legible thing in the world, but <clears throat> I actually made a graph out of it, but I have no way of showing uh, the graph. So that's unfortunate. And I'm just going to throw a second thing in here so that I don't have to make a second video uh, for this. This is um, this is. Right. The, the credit goes to Co Mr. Cochrane, Dr. Cochrane of 2010, uh, his research of 2010. <clears throat> this is borderline personality disorder medication efficacy. And so you can see the, uh, the symptoms. Um, so we have perceptual symptoms, antipsychotics, aripiprazole, and olanzapine. Um, yeah, and then we have, uh, <clears throat> what, is, what is my second one here? All right, impulse control and anger, mood stabilizers, antipsychotics, Topamax, Lamictal, and we also have, uh, what's my orange one here? Aripiprazole again, also omega-3s, okay? Um, emotional, emotional dysregulation, uh, we have antipsychotics, mood stabilizers, and omega-3. Again, uh, suicidality and self-harm. We have a new one, flu, flupen, flupenethanol, flupenthanol, flupenthanol. I don't know. Look it up. Um, aripiprazole for uh, interpersonal problems, Abilify. And then they have VPA and so pyramid. I don't even know what VPA is. I gotta look this up because um, anyway, I just I got this chart from a uh, from. Let me show this again, just in case you want to like, screenshot it or something. I think that shows the whole thing. Yeah, um, it does. All right. Uh, so anyway, that's that. So there's information on both. Uh, Medications, uh, neuroleptics or antipsychotics as they're called, ranked by uh, weight gain and uh, also uh, borderline personality disorder medication efficacy. Um, I will be better dressed in my coming videos. Um, it's just been a rough, rough week, I guess, uh, last week. So um, that's that, and I hope that this, hope that this information is helpful. Um, I'm going to go over my own journey with, uh, with mental health, um, you know, sometime soon I'm going to make a kind of a vlog, but this is just informational. So anyway, I hope that's helpful. Um, I will be around. See you later.